welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the My WW Blue Plan. Today I have a what I eat in a day on WW. I'm going to take you with me throughout the entire day today. I normally do these videos on Sundays, but Sunday was crazy for me. So I decided to take you along with me today, Monday. We have a pretty packed, busy schedule today. We have lots of work to do, so it's going to be a fun and exciting day. I'm gonna show you all my food. We're gonna have a fantastic dinner recipe. And of course, Diesel and Lola will make their appearances as well. So if you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe. Hit the little bell next to it so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded, you don't wanna miss out. Give this video a thumbs up if you love what I eat in a days, and make sure that you're checking out that description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching website Site. There is something there for everyone. I highly recommend that I figure your macros, calories, and work with you on your WW points. That is one service I would take full advantage of. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, you name it, we have it. So check out my nutrition website. You're also going to find links and discount codes to my favorite things, including a lot of the items that I shared with you today and a link to head over and join me over on Facebook. So come on over and join the wonderful, amazing, supportive community over there. So without further ado, Let's jump into what I eat today on WW. Good morning guys as you saw i headed out i went and uploaded my meal prep for today it is monday and as you know i have to leave my house and drive to the local mcdonald's which is like a 10 minute drive away in order to upload so i did that this morning now i'm headed back i'm going to take my greens and i'm going to have some breakfast and today is a clean the house and a work day so i have lots and lots going on today so welcome to the vlog So I am working away, but I am going to have some breakfast. So this is my breakfast hash that I made in meal prep. If you guys have not seen Monday's meal prep video, if you love fall recipes, fall vibes, you definitely have to check this out. This hash is so delicious, so, so good. Super low points, low calories, but nice and hearty because you have potatoes, eggs, bacon, all the goodness, all the comfort food. And then I'm just having a bag here of some grapes and blueberries as a fruit. And of course I'm working on water. Look at that, you guys, it's halfway gone, the one I just filled up. So this is going to be this morning's breakfast. Look what's here, one of my favorite times every two weeks, my Imperfect Foods box. You guys always like seeing what I picked up. I found some great things in this Imperfect Foods box. So let me show you what I got for the next two weeks. So first I grabbed some grapes. They have such fantastic prices on organic produce, all organic produce, especially grapes because grapes are expensive and these ones are so good. They're nice and crispy as grapes should be. I also grabbed some green onions. They truly have the best quality organic green onions. And then look at this, you guys. You guys know 
my love for partake cookies they had partake i was so excited these are the chocolate chip soft baked cookies they're only two points per cookie nice clean ingredients they are gluten-free if you do follow gluten-free lifestyle they are gluten-free they're vegan they're so good and they were a dollar fifty less per box than what i pay at target so of course i had to grab those you guys saw me haul these chips in a grocery haul not too long ago these were a dollar 25 a bag less than my natural grocers or my healthy food store that i bought them at these are the boulder canyon avocado oil classic sea salt chips these are incredible they're ridged like ruffles they're so good and literally all it is is potatoes salt and avocado oil so clean clean ingredients i also picked up some zucchinis and literally you guys for being in perfect produce the produce is absolutely gorgeous so i got one and i think two yeah I got two zucchinis because oh look at how big those are because i like to roast these as vegetables for dinner also their onions can't be beat this one is huge so this is an organic onion i do buy all of my produce organic and this was kind of exciting i've actually never bought a dragon fruit so i need to figure out how to cut it up but isn't it pretty i know it has a white and black inside so i thought this would be kind of fun just to have a kind of new fresh fruit on hand and everything else came in this nice refrigerated bag with a freezer pack so they definitely package everything really well so it doesn't spoil so it looks like they went ahead and threw my pears in there i did buy three organic pears there's the third guy those look really good i love pears and also in the bag are my baby carrots so we're gonna do a pot roast and these organic rainbow carrots are just so cute everything is so affordable and then lastly in here oh exciting is parmesan the parmesan cheese through imperfect produce or imperfect foods was cheaper than walmart so that's everything in my imperfect foods box i'm excited about these carrots the partake cookies well hello grapes pears i'm excited to try this dragon fruit if you're interested in imperfect foods i do have a link down below ten dollars worth of free product of your choice they have no minimum order so that's what's amazing is you can order your ten dollars free pay the little bit of shipping and you've got ten dollars worth of free product but i love them they package everything so well again they have these nice bags with the freezer pack it's just such a great company helps eliminate food waste definitely check it out and pick up imperfect foods for your family so before i start cleaning laundry i just had breakfast i am going to cut up some fruit and prepare my fruit for the week this is something i either do on sunday or monday but yesterday was insane busy for me that's why i didn't film my what i eat in a day so i'm going to prep myself for success so i get my fruits in and i'm going to chop up my last watermelon of the season i'm sure this is going to be the last one and then i did get this dragon fruit in my imperfect foods box you will see that haul here shortly so excited for that and then when i was at costco picking up the items for the celebration of life i grabbed some organic raspberries for us so i'm gonna pop the raspberries in my little container i also grabbed these at costco a while ago i love them and then we'll put the watermelon in here and then the dragon fruit i think i'm just going to toss it in a bowl because i'm going to probably have this with lunch today so i'm gonna get my fruit chopped up i just love how pretty dragon fruits are i had to show you guys before i sliced it all up Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be a little sweet treat. A nice little change of pace when it comes to fruit. All right, fruit is prepped. So I did slice up that dragon fruit. I don't really like it by itself, to be honest. It's not sweet. It kind of has a really earthy taste. So when I have it for lunch, I'm going to drizzle some lime juice over it. And I'll let you guys know if I like it a little bit better. But I did wash my raspberries and sliced up the glorious, beautiful watermelon. So I'm set for the week what's going on outside that everyone in here is barking you know i need to wash the bedding you know that i need to wash the blanket you're laying on and the comforter yeah i need to wash the blanket you're covered up with little lady yes yeah, my babies you guys are so cozy in here your ears are cold there you go he's so cute all right time for water number two of the day and it is a little before nine so i am nailing the water of course i'll link these two water bottles down below i got these on amazon and they are awesome and they are so so inexpensive so highly recommend you guys know i put my water in the gallon 
the night before so it's nice and cold and then I keep it in the gallon in the fridge and then that's why I have this one I just fill it up to drink it I like my water cold so that really works for me because that way it stays cold all day and then I make sure too that I'm drinking the entire gallon because this baby is gone by about two o'clock every day so you guys are in my cabinet so welcome to my kitchen cabinet I just really quick want to take my greens I get a lot of questions about my greens so I take the my adventure to fit greens I really like these they taste really good kind of like sour candy it is banana apple flavor now I dry scoop these but you can also mix these into water whatever your preference is so it's that time of the morning taking my greens So that's it. I'll make sure if these are linked down below. I do have 10% off. This is the same company since you're in my cabinet. I also take their CalMag, which is their calcium and magnesium. This is in the lemonade flavor. So I highly recommend this for added calcium and magnesium. This, of course, for greens. And I also take the pre-workout. And this is the pre-workout. This is my favorite flavor. This is the pineapple banana. So I take this every time before I work out. I take the greens every single day. And then I take the CalMag whenever I feel like I need a little bit of calcium or magnesium boost. But 10% off all of these. I'll link down below for you guys here is my morning snack I know it's kind of an odd snack but I'm literally obsessed with this dip I showed this dip in our camping vlog or Airbnb I picked it up at Fred Meyer the first time and we literally love it so much and when I was at Costco for my mother-in-law service I saw this and snagged it look how much we've eaten it's half gone already and I just bought this on Friday and it is Monday it is uh, amazing it is so good it has such good ingredients you can have two tablespoons which is what I have here for one point that's it it's got a little bit of protein because it is made with Greek yogurt amazing and then I have one serving of the Snyder's of Hanover butter snaps I actually got these at the dollar store a while ago and I just wanted to go ahead and finish them so it's three for the pretzels one for the dip Four points, you guys, not a lot of protein. I will be adding some extra protein to lunch and my afternoon snack, but I really wanted this dip because like I said, we're obsessed. All right, lunch is served. I'm hungry. It's a little after 11, so I'm eating an early lunch. I will definitely be having an afternoon snack, if not two, but I wanna show you what I'm having for lunch. So what's great about this, what I eat in a day, is it is meal prep edition. So I had my meal prep for breakfast, this is my meal prep for lunch. This is my quinoa casserole. You guys, this is so delicious. It's so filling and satisfying and it just screams fall and comfort food. It's low point, low calorie. It is so good. I can't wait to have this every day this week. I actually had it yesterday on an off day because I like it so much. So I'm going to have one serving of that. I have 110 grams of my Good Culture cottage cheese. That is three smart points, 110 calories. And I drizzled a lot of lime over this dragon fruit. I don't know you guys if I like dragon fruit. So I will put here on the screen what my thoughts are, but this is a going to be my lunch. Points and calories are also here on the screen. Bon appetit. All right, 1220. And the final water to hit a gallon of today this is super exciting so now i can have a sparkling water and maybe a zevia and it isn't even full and voila my friends a gallon down again this bottle is linked down below fantastic price on amazon i recommend both so you can have a cold and one to drink out of i want to show you the bouquets that were brought to us this last saturday for my mother-in-law celebration of life her sister brought us this beautiful bouquet it's absolutely stunning. I don't want it to ever die. It's just beautiful. I love the sunflowers, the gladiolas, and these beautiful roses. It's beautiful. And then another family member, so I guess it's Troy's aunt by marriage. She picked all of these beautiful flowers for us and brought them in this cute mason jar that she filled with water. It is so cute. She picked these out of their garden for us. So we're just so touched to have these beautiful fresh flowers in our house. And they're just, both bouquets are absolutely gorgeous. Mid-afternoon snack. I have not had kombucha today and I'm feeling it. So I'm going to go ahead and have a bottle of kombucha. That's three 
Smart Points. And then I'm going to have a NYX Sticks. I love these. They are only two Smart Points. They have perfect ingredients. And by the way, that's two points for both sticks. They have perfect ingredients and they have 10 grams of protein, 75 calories. So this is my five point snack. I am going to have a protein shake. I'm gonna show you guys what I put in that um, a little bit later this afternoon, but this is kind of my post-lunch pre-afternoon snack snack. Protein shake smoothie time. So let me show you what I have here. This looks so good. I know it's fall, but I'm wanting something tropical. So I have one cup of the Great Value Unsweetened Almond Milk, one Smart Point. I have one scoop of Live Well plant-based protein. This is in coconut. You already know this is my all-time favorite protein ever. It is plant-based, but it does not taste plant-based. There's no chalkiness, grittiness. It is smooth. It is clean. It is the cleanest protein on the market, hands down. It has 17 grams of complete protein and 16 grams of amino acids and only three grams of natural sugar. Literally the best tasting, cleanest, one of the lowest point protein powders out there. You guys know my obsession with Live Well. I have every flavor. They have vanilla, chocolate, coconut, and unflavored. The vanilla is one smart point per scoop. The coconut, chocolate, and unflavored are two points. Well worth it, my friends, well worth it. And calorie-wise is 97 calories per scoop. And then I have half of a cup of this mango, banana, and strawberry blend. This has been in my freezer for a while and I really wanted, again, that tropical vibe. So I put in half of a cup of that. I do not count blended fruit, so this is three points. Let's blend it up. And there's my smoothie. It is so good. It is tropical, exactly what I wanted. Definitely get your hands on Live Well. I do have 10% off. I will link that down below in the description box. You guys will not be disappointed. It is the best, cleanest protein. I literally love it. So I'm going to enjoy my three Smart Point Smoothie Protein Shake. For dinner tonight, I'm bringing you all the fall vibes because tomorrow is the first day of fall. Well, by the time you've seen this video, it will be the day after the first day of fall. So we are going to do a harvest chicken sheet pan dinner. So let me show you what's in the harvest chicken sheet pan dinner. First, you're going to need apple cider vinegar, minced garlic, Dijon mustard, maple syrup, chicken breast, Oil of your choice, this is the Chosen Foods Avocado Oil, salt and pepper. I am going to be using the organic frozen butternut squash just to save on having to cut butternut squash or having it go bad really quickly. I really like this frozen one because it lasts forever. You just throw it into your freezer, thaw it a little bit before cooking. So I'm gonna use that whole bag. I also have some Brussels sprouts, which my husband won't eat but I most definitely will. So I'm also going to add a zucchini. Now this is not in the original recipe, but because my husband won't eat Brussels sprouts, that way he's getting in a little more veggies too, and we both absolutely love zucchini. And then lastly, you'll need some bacon. So I'm using the Coleman Natural. This is from Imperfect Foods. There's a link down below for $10 worth of free groceries from Imperfect Foods. Prevent food waste, get great prices on awesome ingredients on awesome foods and produce and no minimum order. So take advantage of the free $10. So let's jump into making our harvest chicken sheet pan dinner. So what I have here is the frozen butternut squash. I have my chopped up zucchini. I cut them into pretty thick rounds so they would cook about the same as the Brussels sprouts. I cut the stems off and cut those in half. So I have a small sheet pan here that is to put the bacon on. We are going to actually cook the bacon separately than the veggies. And then on my larger sheet pan here lined with parchment paper, this is the one I'm actually going to put the veggies on. So I'm just going to lay them in a row, starting with the Brussels sprouts and then the squash and the zucchini. veggie sheet pan is so full just due to me adding the zucchini isn't that beautiful I'm going to actually pop my chicken on a separate quarter sheet pan with some parchment paper so I'm just going to dice this up and throw that on a separate baking sheet kind of similar to what we did here with the bacon 
Now I'm going to make the sauce that is going to top the veggies and the chicken. You can see I have the chicken all diced up here. So we're gonna make it in the magic bullet. You could use a blender, an emulsifier. You could use really anything you wanted. You could just stir it up if you don't have any of those gadgets. So in my magic bullet cup, I am going to do two tablespoons of maple syrup and I'm going to use this same tablespoon for everything. Save on dishes. So two tablespoons of maple syrup one tablespoon of oil of your choice. Again, this is avocado oil. And then one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I am not going to measure it. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. This is one thing that doesn't really have calories or points. And then I also need a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a big scoop of garlic, basically about four cloves worth of garlic and then some salt and pepper. So I'm just going to put a pinch of both of those into my magic bullet cup, blend this up, and that's the sauce for the veggies and the chicken. So we have made our sauce. This looks really, really good. It kind of gives me like honey mustard vibes, but it smells really delicious. So I am going to just drizzle a little bit of it over my chicken here. And then I'm going to take a spoon and stir it up. And I'm going to do the same thing over my veggies with a different spoon, obviously, but just get it coated in the sauce. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. And then all three of these sheet pans are going into the oven at 400 degrees until everything is cooked through the bacon, the chicken, and all the veggies. So here is my dinner. This is the Harvest Chicken Sheet Pan Dinner. This looks delicious. That entire recipe, so all three of those pans made four servings. So it's seven smart points per serving on blue and purple. And then it is nine points on green just because you have to count for the chicken and 277 calories. But this is so good. Chicken, bacon, veggies, very, very well-rounded fall dinner. So here is my dessert tonight. I'm having the brand new Smart Sweets Gummy Worms. I love these. They're really good. This entire pack is only three smart points. I'm going to pop in a picture once I open it up and show you how many you get. You get a lot of gummy worms for only three smart points. I really like them. They're really delicious. Strawberry, pineapple, blue raspberry, cherry, peach, and pink lemonade. So I love these. You can pick these up off the Smart Sweets website. My code here on the screen will get you 10% off an order of $30 or more. So pick these up. They are limited edition. You can see they have Halloween kind of pictures on them. So they are limited. So grab them while you can.